It's a real thing in the back of your mind. When you're hot, if there's no refreshing ocean to jump into, real refreshment is still closer than you think. It's the real thing. cartoonist. You got a pencil and a paper, you could draw jet men anywhere. I have been drawing for four hours. Now comes pounding. Yeah, I got it. I'm not listening to you. I'm not talking to you. I have nothing to do with you. I do not hear you. Don't forget your drawing. <laughs> you fixed it. It works. Anytime I fix something and it doesn't work, you let me know. and ask my wife for a screwdriver. Andrew, call Tourist Aid Society at International Airport. And if my wife hasn't gone to lunch, ask her to wait for my call. Come on. Come in. It's OK. This is my house. Come on. Nicholas. No, no. Nicholas. No, Mr. Panopoulos. No, Nicholas. This is my house. My house. Okay? Nicholas! <laughs> Mr. Panopoulos, your nephew Nicholas is not here. Nick. Nicholas. Nah. Nah. Ninny? No, no. Ninny? No. Ninny? No. Nothing. Excuse me a minute. I'll be right back. Uh, stay. Sit. Sit. <laughs> <laughs> Who's there? Who is that? Andrew. You call us? No, Andrew, the handyman. It's Gertrude from your office. Something about a man you took. The immigration people are furious. Oh, Andrew, tell her to stall them. How do you do? Nicola, see her. Nicola. 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 Dad, what are you doing here? Dancing. Oh, <laughs> What are you doing at home? Never mind that. Who am I doing at home with? Paula, <laughs> Paula, help. Get him in the colors. Uh, he's hurting me. <laughs> he thinks you're his long lost nephew. No, no, Mr. Panopoulos. This is not Nicholas. This is my husband. Me, Dick. <laughs> no, Nicholas. No, Nicholas. Ah. Poor soul. This is headquarters for poor soul. Mr. Panopoulos, don't worry. Everything is going to be okay. Paula, how did he get here? He's a mistake. A couple sent for their uncle. Oh, he's so free. Mr. Panopoulos arrived instead. Oh, he's to be returned. He doesn't want to be returned. <laughs> and he's not going to be returned. Paula. What about the nephew? Untraceable. There may not even be a... Paula, Paula, this is a problem for immigration. He hasn't a penny to his name. He'll starve. Starve? He hasn't had any lunch. I'll make him some soup. I'm going to make him some... Soup. <laughs> There's no water. No water yet? Mm-mm. I'll go next door. Harry, could we have some more water, please? Coming, Paula. Three days, and Andrew the Mole still hasn't fixed the pipes. And he'll never fix them unless I can get him out of there. Dick, we've got to help Mr. Panopoulos. There's nobody else to do it. He is such a sweet and gentle... Dick, when are you going to get Mr. Panopoulos a job with your company? <laughs> what? If he had a job, he could stay in this country. Consolidated Publications employs thousands of people. There must be something Mr. Panopoulos can do. Be reasonable. He doesn't even... He doesn't even know the language. Is that so important? If a man is expert at his craft, that's what really matters. Skill is the same in any language. All right, all right. I'll speak to him at the newspaper. You know what he does? Yes. What? He's a shepherd. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
Oh, that's perfect. We haven't had one in the building for years. What about the Jetman television series? You've got some influence of the network. Oh, you can't help 100% of the world. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely mattress. Excuse me. Well, Miss Hollister, I'm going to take your doorknob off of that door, put it on that door so you don't get stuck again. Oh, he's a new one, isn't he? Yes. Yeah. Harry, how are you? Andrew, when are you going to fix the pipes in this building? You take care of the fires, I'll take care of the pipes. Right, well, Hi, you, Harry. You want me to fill the bathtub for you again? And the big pot in the kitchen, if you don't mind, Harry. Right. As long as I'm here, I might as well get the plants first. Huh? Okay. <laughs> Miss Hollister, I've threaded your doorknob, and I'm gonna have to go down to the hardware store and get another one. All righty, I got one more plant I got to get over here. Hey, Harry, enough with the plants. Yeah. I've got to have some water in the kitchen so I can make soup for Mr. Panopoulos. Hi. Panopoulos? Patrioti! Cicalita! Ah. And you're the sister! Hollister! Harry, you speak Greek! Show me a Zelicardo who doesn't speak Greek. Oh, damn! Milena, eat up, please, Zelicardo. Zelicardo! Listen, that, that call was from Matt Cornell. Matt Cornell, listen. Harry the fireman speaks Greek. Listen. Steam patrita, I'm a poor boy, I say. Arvenite Kerasha. I'm a police muita, Poki. Poki, Poki, yes. What? The lawyer? What? He's very influential. Oh, Dick, maybe he can help keep Mr. Panopoulos in America. 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 See, all he wants to stay. Paula, Paula, this is a problem for immigration. Oh, Dick, they'll send him back. Matt Cornell. Matt Cornell is a name you just yeah. heard for the first time. Oh, uh, oh. oh. Decent and Granny. He senses something is wrong. You see? Do you see? Listen, Listen. look, look, Cornell works for the company, look, not for me. He works He's for trying to win the corporation to help him. Look, Harry, tell him there's nothing I can do. Harry, tell him there's something I can do. <laughs> I'll speak to Cornell. I love you. <laughs> I gotta get my drawers. I'll be back. Oh. I'll be back. <laughs> Arthur, try to find some legality so this Panopolis can stay in the country and call me back here. Thank you, Matt. Well, I'd like to get this thing cleared up today. I have to go to Washington tomorrow and I'll be in court all day. What's that for? Oh, it's for the Jetman television show. Oh, I didn't know that you had anything to do with the show. Oh, I don't really. It's just that they can't put a new character into the television show until I put him in the comic strip first. Well, what kind of a character are you looking for? Sidekick, a friend to help Oscar. And who's Oscar? Haven't you ever seen the show? Oscar North, the star of Jetman. The actor? No, just the star. <laughs> That's for me. No, it's the intercom. Yes, Helen? Oscar North to see you. I forgot. Today's the day they take pictures of him for the cover of the TV section. He'll probably be in uniform. Brace yourself. You're about to see a preview of the fall fashions. How do you like it? Uh, Oscar, did you have that made or did you get it off the rack? Sleep? I mean, how would you like it? The Jetman entrance. <laughs> the Jetman entrance. Yes, yes. To keep the image alive. Do you know I passed a little boy in the lobby with tears in his eyes because he saw me walking? He wanted to see me flying. So, to keep the illusion of flying, I've worked out this simple little movement. See if you like it. <laughs> it's kind of fun, isn't it? You know, I tried it out in the hall just now. I can't tell you the people that stopped and stared. Oscar, before you take off again, say hello to Matthew Cornell. Hello, Matthew Cornell. I'm pleased to meet you. I can understand that. Uh, my kids always watch your show. Ah, so do I. It's for adults, too, you know. Richard, you uh, come up with that new character for my show yet? Um, nothing I really like, Oscar. Now, now, Richard, sometimes one can be too harsh on oneself. You let me be the judge of whether it's bad or not. You're a good judge. Oscar, I'll keep trying. No, no, no. I have a moment. Let me give it a think. Ha ha. Oh, I've got. We use an animal. What about a kangaroo with radar in his pouch? Um, Oscar, I'll keep working on it, okay? All right, Richard. 
If you don't want the benefit of this, the portrait gallery is waiting for this. <laughs> Goodbye, Matthew Cornell. <laughs> How many kiddies in the family? Uh, two. Two? Splendid, splendid. My autograph photograph is one for you for the dead. <laughs> Richard? Yeah? I wouldn't throw out that animal idea too quickly. Remember, I have friends upstairs. Well, skyward, skyward, up into the blue. Off I go into the wild. <laughs> he serious and when is he kidding? No, he's serious. He wants to work with an animal. Why? Because with an animal, you don't have to share dialogue. <laughs> Hello. Speaking. Oh, that's fine, Arthur. That's fine. Thank you. Well, we have a 50-50 chance. If the old gentleman came into this country on a work visa, then we can keep him here. But if he came in on a visitor's visa, he's got to go back. Now, what kind of a visa does he have? I don't know. I better call Paula. Will you take my calls? I'll be right back, Mrs. Hollister. Sure. Hello? Oh, hi, darling. Excuse me. Hang on a minute. Yes, can I help you? Simpson, United States Department of Immigration. Man by the name of Panopoulos is missing. I was told to talk to a Mrs. Hollister. Sorry, sir. Uh, what was that name? Hollister. Yeah, I'll have to check that. Nope, nobody there but that name. That, uh, that was a very quick check. You know, so many people come through here. Now, I don't think you understand. The woman that I'm looking for works here with a tourist aid like you. I'm back, Mrs. Hollister. <laughs> exactly like you. I wish that I could spend some more time with you, but I have a very urgent call. A little boy's on the phone. Hello, Sonny, speak. Mrs. Hollister. <laughs> We are looking for Mr. Panopoulos. Now, if you withhold information from the United States government, you're in trouble. Big trouble. Yes, sir. Hello? What kind of visa does Mr. Panopoulos have? He came in on a visitor's visa. Why? Visitor's visa. And he has to go back. Dick? Paula. He has to go back. Sanders really knows how to bring home the flavor in fried chicken. It's his secret recipe of 11 herbs and spices that gives his chicken that down-home, bring-home flavor. Bring it on home, taste the flavor of the real stick and finger licking down home by the chicken. Bring it on home. Bring home the chicken. Colonel Sanders Kentucky Fried Chicken. That down-home flavor is his alone, so you aren't bringing home Kentucky Fried Chicken if it's made by any other man. Bring it home the chicken! Where are you going? I'm going to see the noise awaken Mr. Panopoulos. Uh, you know, you're going to be happy to know that he has been sound asleep through the whole thing. Dick, it isn't fair. It just isn't fair to take a man's hopes and dash them up against a wall of red tape. There's got to be something in this immigration handbook. Paula, me. Paula, why don't you go to sleep? Are you going to go to sleep? No. As long as I'm not, as long as I work in some drawings. <laughs> Come on over here and take a look at these animals. Yeah. Tell me what you think. Oh, gee, that's terrible. <laughs> Oscar is wrong. It shouldn't be an animal. I know, I know. Maybe if I can come up with the right character, he'll buy it. I think I'll work for about an hour. Why don't you go to sleep? Hey. Hey. Hey, hey, this is it. Oh, I've got it, I've got it, I've got it. 
Look, they never separate a mother from her child. Right? That's our answer. What's our answer? We adopt Mr. Panopoulos. Uh, uh, adoption? That's for babies. Sure, sure. Everybody wants to adopt babies. Nobody wants the older kids. Nicola, he doesn't have to do that. Oh, he wants to. It's probably his way of saying thank you. In the cold light of morning, would you like to buy... <laughs> would you like to buy back your adoption idea? What have we got to lose? We're going to look great together, Panopolis and me, when we show up at Little League. <laughs> Simpson. Oh. You did it again. You opened the do door. Do? Not back home. <laughs> this is not a small town where everybody loves everybody, so you can't open the door. This is a big city where everybody hates everybody. <laughs> so you can't open the door. If everybody loved everybody, then this wouldn't be a big city. It would be a small town. <laughs> then you could open the door. <laughs> what are you saying? Never mind what I'm saying. Just listen to me. <laughs> You do not open the door for a perfect stranger. But this is Mr. Simpson. I met him yesterday. I said, who was it? And he said, Mr. Simpson. And sure enough, there he was, Mr. Simpson. <laughs> Mr. Simpson who? Mr. Simpson from the Department of Immigration. Open that door. <laughs> Please, come in. I've come for Mr. Panopoulos. That's him, right? Nicholas? No, no. No, no. Nicholas. Oh, boy. No, Nicholas. <laughs> now, I'm sorry, folks, but I have to take him with me. Mr. Simpson, you made a trip for nothing. We're adopting him. <laughs> You're crazy. I know. But you can't keep him here. There are rules, and rules have to be obeyed. Now, he has to come with me. Wait. Where are you going? I'm going to speak to Harry. Harry, will you please come over? Harry, Paula. Harry speaks Greek. I want him to explain everything to Mr. Panopoulos so that he understands. All right, where do you want it? We got a special today. We're throwing in a car wash. <laughs> All right, what's the matter? What's wrong? I want you to explain to Mr. Panopoulos that Mr. Simpson is from the Department of Immigration and that he's come to do... Take a morning. You're deporting him to Greece? That's the way it has to be. What do you mean, that's the way it has to be? Look at him, he's an old man. He spent his life wanting to live in America. You're going to take that away from him? What kind of a human being are you? I'm anyway? just trying to do my job. Never mind that. What's your address? What's that got to do with it? If your house ever catches fire, we're driving slow. <laughs> now, please. <clears throat> please try to understand. He has to be on the plane at 4 o'clock. Now, tell him. I'll give you a Harry, Harry, Harry. Thank you, Dick. You better tell him. Έχω κάτι σοβαρό να σου πω. Δεν μπορείς να κατήσεις εδώ στην Αμερική. Και πρέπει να σου στείλω να πίσω στην Ελλάδα. Στην Ελλάδα. Στην Ελλάδα. guy that gets it. He was a big shot if he was a politician. If he was a celebrity, then they'd find some way around this. Listen, his flight is at four. We've just got to find somebody who'll help him. We've got to. How are you? <laughs> Look, I tried everything. There's nothing I can do. I if tried Jet Man everything. had the problem, Look. you'd Wouldn't he? Jet Man is much worse spots than this. Oh, 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 hold it. Hold it. 
Watch it. Oh, that's it. Something you said and something you said. What? That's what it. I say? What I say? What? The office. What is it? I don't want to miss Cornell before he goes to Washington. Dick, tell me your idea. I am please. not going to tell you my idea because I don't want to get your hopes up. The most important thing is for everyone not to get excited. No panic. Keep calm, cool, collected. Thank you for everything. <laughs> Goodbye, darling. Me, hurry, open the door. My husband told me never to open the door. Paula, open the door. What if I open the door and it isn't you? Then I won't come in. Oh. <laughs> There's no time to fool around. I'm expecting a very important phone call from Cornell in Washington. He hasn't called, has he? No. Quarter to one, he was supposed to call. You sure he hasn't called? You know, maybe with all the alarms, you didn't hear the phone. If I missed his call, he'll call back. No, he won't. At one o'clock, he goes into court, and he won't be out until the end of the day. Did you hear from Oscar North? No. Dick, Oscar, Matt, Cornell, what's going on? What? I think we have found a way to keep Panopolis in the country. Oh, Look what? at this. The new character for the Jetman television show. It's Mr. Panopolis. He plays Jetman's silent companion, Mr. Shush. Mr. Panopoulos? Uh-huh. Foreign actors are allowed in this country for an indefinite period of time. Oh, Dick. <laughs> Oscar is the key to the whole thing. We've got to talk him into it. We have got to get Oscar to do it. Get Oscar to do what? What's the idea of leaving all those frantic messages all over town when you always know where I spend Tuesdays? I'm with Mother. <laughs> now, what's up? Uh, Oscar, here it is, the new character for your show. Well, that's not an animal. It's close, but it's not an animal. That's Mr. Shush, your silent helper. Positively, no. What do you mean, silent? Uh, he, he never talks. He never talks, eh? Hmm. Why'd you draw such an unusual character like that? Maybe you're right for your comic strip, but were we ever going to find a guy like that for the show? We have an idea where we may be able to find someone who looks like him. Immediately. On second thought, no. I want an animal. Besides, with those silly actors, they always want lines. This man's not an actor. What do you mean he's not an actor? He doesn't know any tricks. He won't upstage you, won't fight for dialogue, won't steal scenes. That's true. Animals do steal scenes. <laughs> and they're clever, too. I hate them. Oscar, you'll also be helping a fellow human being in desperate need. All right. <laughs> He's on the show. Wait, wait, wait just a minute. It's not that easy. It can only work if we get an okay from Cornell and Washington, and then you have to go down to the Department of Immigration and sign something. Sign what? That's what Cornell is supposed to tell us when he calls. 12.50. We must have missed his call. Now we're not going to get his call. There's his call. We didn't miss his call. <laughs> Boy, it's a good thing we didn't miss his call, because... Will you kid... hurry up and answer that? I don't want to lose this kid. Oh. <laughs> The door. It won't open. Andy Pro. It won't open. What are we gonna do? What are we gonna do? Step aside. This is a job for Jetman. Lead the way. I'm coming through. Headache. Every second can be a painful throb. Bufferin can change that fast. Bufferin goes to work fastest of the three leading headache tablets. Its pain reliever starts to your headache in just 60 seconds. Minutes later, Relief. Without the stomach upset, plain aspirin can cause. Of all leading brands you can buy, doctors specify Bufferin most. Faster, gentler, Bufferin. Hey! Hey, what do you mean safe, Harry? You missed the tag. This is the tag. I got him on a head. Leave the crease over my glove. Get out of here. Listen, kid, if you're gonna slide hit first, you better start using this. Vitalis. It's greaseless. Oh, 
he's calling back. The phone. The phone. The phone. The phone. The phone. The phone. Hi. Yeah, we're right here. No. Oh. Oh, it'll take too long to explain. Yes, Oscar's here. You did? Bless you. Uh, 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 just a minute. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. That, ma that makes Oscar what? Uh, Oscar has to sign a piece of paper representing the studio that would classify Panopolis as a person of, of distinguished merit yeah, and ability. We're on our way. Come on, darling. We have to go down to immigration. Oh, Dick! Yeah? You did it! We did it. Oscar! We've got to see if Oscar's all right. Oscar is always all right. <laughs> what happened? Uh, Oscar, it takes too long to explain. It's a long, terrible story. Come on, come on, Paula. Gertrude? Oh, that's terrible. You mean, no, nobody ever showed up to pick him up. He's a Japanese boy. How old? Nine. Just hang on to him. I think I can bring him home for a little while until we find out who he belongs to. Oscar? I have an idea you're going to have quite a big cast on your show by the way. <laughs> what good is a guy? What good is a he without a she? What good if you want to stay thin and you're supposed to be watching your waist? What good do you think is a diet drink if it doesn't have a good taste? Now Tab tastes good enough for guys, too. There's just enough sugar in new Tab. Tab tastes good enough for guys. Tab tastes good enough for guys. Join the fun when Tim Conway, Ursula Andress, and Nancy Wilson visit the Merv Griffin Show tonight at 11.30. The CBS Tuesday Night Movies premiere with the wildest and funniest air safari of all time. Red Buttons and Barbara Eden star in Jules Verne's Five Weeks in a Balloon. Come aboard for comedy and adventure Tuesday night on CBS at 7.30, 6.30 Central Time. Safety belts, I, I never bother with them. They're, they're too confining. million and one excuses for not wearing safety belts. Some are real killers. It's the Huddles household with Ed, Marge, and baby Pom Pom. On the field, exciting action kicks off when the star quarterback of the Rhino scores another touchdown on Where's Huddles? Premiering Wednesday night on CBS. Yeah, I love the taste of it. And fresh air is what makes Maryland taste like no other cigarette. Maryland tobacco is fresh air cured. Other cigarettes contain some heat-treated tobacco. Tobacco dried in heated barns for only six days. But Maryland, 100% fresh air cured. Country mellowed in nature's fresh air for up to eight long lazy weeks. New Maryland filter 100s. 100% fresh air cured tobacco fascination comes from 63 different countries at Pier 1 Imports, the uncommon store for uncommon people like you.